Hi friends, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel like I have not filmed the garden for the, the YouTube channel in possibly a couple of weeks. Long overdue and on top of that we're doing a decent harvest today which I'm very excited for. We have tomatoes, green beans, banana peppers, I think a zucchini, I think a couple cucumbers, probably some jalapenos and I brought a fun little basket. I've been wanting a basket to just like put my harvested stuff in. This was from the dollar section at Target so hopefully it actually like you know the bottom doesn't fall through or anything but let's give a little overview of the garden so you know mistakes were made this year it was inevitable this was my first year doing like an in the ground plot of land kind of garden so one of the cucumber trellises just like completely fell apart and broke like the nails holding the wood together just one of the wind storms just kind of took it down so next year i want to get one of those like archways almost like a little doorway and have the cucumbers grow up either side on that. My pumpkin vine is just growing through everything. The tomato plants definitely needed more support. They're doing okay though and I think that's pretty much it. Oh most of the flowers also died <laughs> besides the purple ones which I forget the name of them but I'll put it on screen because I ended up buying the I think the app is called picture this and you can take a picture of any plant and it'll tell you exactly what it is for the most part and it's been very very useful and just like wildflowers in my garden and just you know, in the wild and stuff. Let me give you a little overview of what it's looking like. First of all, it's a beautiful day for the pool. Might end up hopping in, but <laughs> this is what we got going on. So like, look at how high that tomato plant is growing. Like I, I'm very short, I'm only five feet tall, but over my head, that's close to six feet tall now. It's insane. I think this one was the Juliet tomatoes. I'm surprised I haven't completely fallen yet. I've only stumbled a little bit on the fence. We also added a hummingbird feeder, but it's starting to get lost in the tomato plant right there. Oh my God, do you see that banana pepper? That is insane. So yeah, we've got the tomato jungles just kind of going crazy. We've got jalapenos. This is the poblano plants. Isn't that crazy? There aren't any peppers growing right now, but there are a few flowers. That's another jalapeno more green beans this is the pumpkin plant that was planted in the back corner and has just grown all the way down the edge all the way down the edge and no pumpkins yet we've had a couple like female flowers that ended up dying off but like i never really saw the flowers open so i wasn't able to self-pollinate oh no one of my corns fell over i need a steak So the corn has started growing. You can see the silks right here. And a little fun fact is that each individual silk is associated with a kernel on the ear of corn. So you can kind of see it's like a little bit thicker right here. I don't know how well they're gonna do, but I, it's just cool that we've got something forming. This is the trellis that <laughs> completely fell apart. And I mean, honestly, I'm kind of happy it happened to the pickling cucumbers and not the other ones, but you can still see some stuff is kind of growing on there. I just don't think it's doing super, super well. Oh, look at that one. Maybe I'll be able to harvest that. We can definitely take at least those two. Oh, we can definitely take that one. That one is starting to like yellow at the top. And I also feel like this would be thriving more if, you know, it did have a bigger trellis to grow up. Like there would still be way, way more stuff growing, but we still have more cucumbers popping up. So things are happening. This is the other side of the corn. So I don't even see, they say when the silks completely dry out, the corn is ready. So I don't know, it might not be a success. But this is where the like pollen comes from. These little, they call them tassels. And you can even just like, you know, break one off and then take it and kind of, I mean, this one's already dried out, so it's not really doing much now, I think, but you can kind of almost like brush it on there, which is cool. Our volunteer plant is starting to have a few things on it. Where were they? So you can see right here. I think it's a zucchini. Pretty sure it's a zucchini. But yeah, I do feel like the garden was thriving and then it just got overwhelmed. And it's still doing all right. Like we're definitely gonna get lots of tomatoes, but it's just not, you know, the setup isn't ideal. But we're learning, you know? That was the whole point of this. 
Okay, let's start harvesting. Okay, let's start with jalapenos. I think this one's probably ready, even though it's small. Oh yeah, that fell off so easily. Oh wait, maybe I should start with the heavier stuff. We should do the zucchini and the cucumber first. This one grew a little funky, but I think it'll be all right. <laughs> the end of it. You can tell that was like squished or stuck or something. So no other zucchinis ready yet, but there's one growing here and then there's a couple growing in this plant right next to it. So let's go to the cucumbers. All right, whoa, this one is super long. Oh. Do that off camera. <laughs> I feel like this third one, even though it's smaller, is ready because it's starting to get lighter at the ends. So we're going to take that one. Oh my god. <laughs> the basket's already got so much in it. Okay, now I can put this jalapeno back in there. Mm, that one still looks pretty light. Where's this one? This one's definitely ready. I'll take this one too. Oh, this plant could use some support. Can I sit here? Um, caffeine or no caffeine? He's no caffeine. I've been kind of anxious this week. Root beer. I guess I'll take this one. Now, honestly, I might even just leave the other ones because they're fine on the vine or on the plant and they'll just last longer if I leave them on the plant. And I've already got like five jalapenos in here. Also, the jalapenos are so much spicier than the ones from the grocery store. It is like unreal. And I think they get less spicy the longer you let them stay on the plant too. I swear I read that. Like they'll even turn red eventually and then they're even less spicy. I have to give full credit to this cute little towel in the basket to Brendan. It was his idea to go and look and see if his mom had anything. I think these are okay. I don't know if they're supposed to be lumpy, if that means I should leave them long or if I left them too long, you know? Oh, I just broke that one. That's okay. I'll take that one. A huge one over here. This one I feel like is starting to dry out. So we'll take that. So this is the pumpkin plant kind of growing into it, which is, oh shoot, we got a pumpkin. I think that one is actually growing. I think it got pollinated. Cause it's bigger than like the other ones that I saw. Look at that pumpkin, oh my God, it's so exciting. Are there any more in this plant? Honestly, we got tons of green beans in the last couple of weeks. So I'm not even sure how much more we're gonna get. And then there's one more green bean plant that's kind of hidden. What's the best place to set you guys up? Let's see. So below this pumpkin leaf and below this tomato branch are more green beans, but I don't know. I think there's some in there. This one's so long. Wow. Even though this plant's been kind of like covered by this stuff, I feel like this one has produced some of like the healthiest green beans. Oh my God, there's so many in here. And there's still like more babies growing too. This is definitely the biggest banana pepper that I've ever grown. Wow. It's beautiful. Yep. Another one. So we might make, um, uh, what is it called? Mississippi pot roast? Or something like that. I don't know why my mom called it. That's what it was online. Yeah, uh, we want to make it's like a pork and banana pepper dish. Um, oh, there's an ant on this one. This one's ready. Oh yeah, that came off very easily. Um, this one can go. Yay! 
Red plum tomatoes. Man, I love the smell of the banana peppers. All right, I'm just gonna get my butt dirty. It's fine. All right. So a lot of this plant, you'll see like that we have holes in them. I think I should have just like stayed on top of spraying them, but whatever. I just kind of chuck these into the woods for the wildlife. A lot of these I feel like I haven't even been able to enjoy because I pick it and then it's like this. See, I would eat that. That? Yeah. But it's got like holes. Like there might be a bug in there. Yeah, you cut it open. There's no bug. I eat it. All right. Oh. I'll put it in the basket. Like, don't you think you, you find ones even at the supermarket with like little dinks like that? Yeah, but this, it, like, it looks like something crawled in there, you know? Oh, it's a hummingbird. Flew away. Can this you? one's good. Ooh. This one's huge. It looks like a butt. This one would ripen on the counter. I'll take this one before. Let me see one of the weird looking ones. A bug gets it. And this one's not bad. Yeah. Oh, this one was still a little green at the top, but that's okay. It should ripen the rest of the way, like overnight or in a day or two. Like, what's better, eating a fresh tomato like this that a bug might have just bitten and went away, or buying from the supermarket with pesticides and crap I know. Over it? It's a good point. It's a good point. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like the kids talking in the background, it's just like a summer aesthetic. Okay, we'll take this guy, this one. These are the sweet 100s. And then this one will definitely ripe it on the counter. So we'll take that too. Um, that one's still a little green at the bottom, so we'll leave it. Okay, hello. Juliet tomatoes. We'll take that one. This one. And we'll take this one. And we'll leave the rest. Those should be ready in like a day or two. So it might be a while till you guys actually see this, but this pepper is huge. And the tag shows that they're supposed to be red. But it's been green, and it hasn't really grown a ton in weeks. But it still feels kind of firm. Like, I don't know if I should pick it or just leave it. All right, I believe these ones are called Sun Sugar. So I'm going to grab the orange ones. They don't turn red. These ones stay this, like, golden -y orange color. Actually, we should go see if there's any of the pickling cucumbers in this mess over here. So I know there was one right here. Alrighty, here's our little harvest. When we get home, I'll lay it all out on the table and show you guys. Oh, I just thought of something else I didn't show you guys. The chilies. Oh, one of them fell off though. I can see it on the ground. Bummer. I ended up grabbing one of the candy cane striped peppers too. Here, I'll try one since there's a bunch on the plant. Hello, we are a little crooked, but I just wanted to film a little outro for this video. It's actually the next day. Sansa's just barely out of frame out there, and Ari is very curious about my harvest here. But I have it in the cute little basket, and I'm gonna make some green beans with dinner tonight. So I'm gonna use these, just like wash them up, chop off the ends, and just do like some olive oil with salt and pepper. And then we're doing sweet potatoes and this like lemon pepper chicken that I got from the grocery store. But this is a lovely haul. I would love to hear just any sort of like recipe snack recommendations to do with these ingredients. I think I mentioned it before, but I'm pretty sure it's called Mississippi pot roast, but it's like pork and banana peppers and oh my god they smell so good it, like just smelling these reminds me of that dish so we're probably gonna go to just like a, a local store near Brennan's parents house and try to grab some pork and make that one day this week the zucchini I still need to do that like fried zucchini with the tomato and mozzarella I really really want to do that dish and then there's plenty that I can do with cucumbers and um, like tomatoes I have lots of jalapenos and they are very 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 spicy so I need to figure out oh she just plops down so I need to figure out exactly what I'm gonna do with those I don't know if I should like chop them up and freeze them or something I mean I can definitely make some like salsas and dips and whatnot so there are certainly some options and yeah I'm very proud of my garden Brenda and I were just saying that we've certainly learned a lot between just like spacing and support systems on the plants so I'm really excited to just like, even though it's only July, I'm excited for next year to kind of just figure everything out to make it thrive even more. Did she just bat at you? <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> 
She's like hanging upside down. But okay, I'm going to end this video off. If you are not already, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up because it truly helps with any creator that you're watching on basically any platform. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, friends.